Will you support Hamed in 2027? 20, God forbid. <laughs> Are you a Nigerian living in the diaspora? Donfrio Export Services LTD is your most trusted partner for shipping all your Nigerian goods. Hello guys, welcome back to this channel, Big Jonab. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to generate a realistic AI script interview using Google VEO3, just like the kind of video that you just watched now. Yes, I don't need to worry. At the end of the video, I'm going to be teaching you how to generate a web structure prompt in order for you to generate any kind of AI video. Yes, a lot of people come to my DM, collect the prompt, but when they want to generate another kind of video, they find it difficult. Why? Because they don't know how to generate a web structure prompt for that video. Don't worry, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to generate a web structure prompt in order for you to generate any kind of AI video. So make sure to pay very close attention to this video so you don't miss any important information. You know, I don't like too much talk without further ado let's jump right into the video okay guys so for you to do this head over to your chrome as you can see here's my chrome click it search for view tree okay as you can see this particular website google deep mind go ahead and click it Okay, just go ahead and click try inflow. Okay. Okay, so as a new beginner, they are going to ask you to subscribe to their AI Pro plan. As for me, I've already subscribed. So that is why I'm just going to go ahead and click create with flow. But as a new beginner, if you want to learn on how to go about the subscription, check my channel. I've created a video on how to subscribe to their AI Pro plan. Locate the video and watch it. The video gives you detailed information on how to subscribe to their AI Pro plan. So make sure to watch the video. And then after you watch the video, after you subscribe to their AI Pro plan, come back here and click Create with Flow. Okay, so for the purpose of the people that just joined this channel that is watching my video for the first time, let me quickly walk you through the interface. Okay, this is how the interface looks like. Let me quickly walk you through the interface. Okay, so if you look very well, you are going to see text to video. Okay, click it. If you click the text to video, you are going to be seeing text to video, frames to video, and ingredient to video. Now, let me explain this to you. Okay, text to video. This is when you just write your text to get your video generated. Okay, that is text to video. You can just paste your prompt and then you generate your video. And then frames to video. This is when you want to convert your photo to video. Okay, that is photos to video. And then ingredient to video. Now, ingredient to video is just the combination of the two. When you want to write your text and then upload a video and add your audio, that is ingredient to video. But the downside on this ingredient to video is that it's not available on this free plan. Okay, so you have to pay before it will be available. Okay, so we are not going to be using it. Only the text to video and friends to video is available on the free plan. Okay. And then if you look very well, you are going to see view three first. Behind that view three first, you are going to see a hamburger icon. Click it. If you click the hamburger icon, you are going to see output per prompt and the modem. The output per prompt is now click the output per prompt. If you click the output per prompt, you are going to see one, two, three, four. Now let me explain this to you. Output per prompt is just how many videos do you want the AI to generate for you per prompt? Okay, for example, if I paste one prompt, how many videos do I want the AI to generate? Four, three, or one, okay? But I always advise you use one because if you use four, the AI is going to generate four videos for you per prompt. And with that, your AI credit is going to finish very fast, okay? So, always use one. And also, you are going to see modem. If you click the modem, you are going to see view three fast, view two fast, view three quality, and view two two quality okay now let me explain the difference between view three fast and view two fast for you view three fast come with audio your character can speak your character can talk but view two fast in the other hand your character cannot talk it doesn't come with any audio your video will be silent except you have to go and do a voiceover on it okay so if you don't have strength for voiceover just go ahead and use view three fast so for the purpose of this video we are going to be using view three fast click it and then for you to generate your video, you just have to go ahead and paste your prompt. You don't need to worry. I'm going to be teaching you how to generate your prompt after this, after we generate this video. Okay. I'll teach you how to structure your prompt very well in order to get a perfect prompt. A lot of people call me, a lot of people come to my DM, they collect the prompt, but when they want to generate their own video, they don't know how to generate their own video. Why? Because they don't know how to structure 
their own prompt don't worry i'll be teaching you how to structure your own prompt remember a well quality ai generated video come with a well structured prompt your prompt is very important so make sure to stick with me to the very end of this video so you learn everything in detail so for you to generate your own video so for you to generate video just go ahead and paste your prompt okay paste your prompt i have a prompt here paste it and then hit generate and then your video has start generating okay now let's watch and see the magic from google veo3 and if you look very well you are going to see pro okay click that pro if you click the pro you are going to see 40 ai credit now as a new beginner they are going to be giving 1000 ai credit i've created a whole lot of video that is why i'm left with just 40 ai credit and each video costs you 20 ai credit do you understand if you are using if you are using view 3 fast each video will cost you 20 ai credit but if you are using view 2 fast each video will cost you 10 ai credit but because i always use view 3 fast each video is costing me 20 ai credit okay guys so our video has been generated okay our video has been generated successfully now let's play the video and see let's play the video and see will you support hamed in 2027 20, God forbid. <laughs> Will you support Hamed in 2027? 20, God forbid. <laughs> okay, guys, this is cool. This is nice. This is cool. This is nice. Okay, this is this is what I want, and I got it right. Actually, I wanted to say, uh, Bola Amatinable, understand? So, that is the word that I want to use, and I want to use votes, not actually support. But the reason why, the reason why I, I'd not go with that one is that when I first tried, when I tried it, the AI told me that it's against their policy. They don't speak against prominent person, okay? They don't want to go against the poli against any prominent person. So the AI refused to generate the video for me. So be careful when you are structuring your prompt with the word that you are using. So I have to just tweet it like this, say Ahmed, and instead of vote, I say support. Do you understand? So that is how I just play around with the prompt, okay? So now... For you to, to for you to download your video, just come here. Look at this drop down arrow, and then click it, and your video and cl and click this original, and then your video will be generated successfully into your gallery. Okay. So, but the most important thing is the prompt. How do you now generate the prompt to get this result? So now let me show you how to generate a well structured prompt to get your video done successfully. But make sure you have liked, you have subscribed, you have tell me something nice on the comment section. Do you understand? I'm giving it this out for free. Make sure you tell me something nice, please. Remember your support is always keep me creating, okay? So this is how I generated the prompt that I used to generate that straight interview. Now, let me show you on my notepad here. Okay, if you look very well, you see, I want to generate a realistic AI street interview in a Nigeria street. The journalist is a lady wearing a polo with the caption, Jonab Daily. She walked to a young Nigerian man and said, will you vote for Ahmed Tinubu in 2027? And the young man replied, God forbid. And they all laughed. She's holding a handheld microphone. Now, if you notice very well, like, I, like during the video, I told you that I wanted to say, I'm a tenable ball because the AI restricted me, okay? Because they don't want to go against any politician, all those things. So when you say I'm a tenable, the AI is not going to say it. Why? Because it's a prominent person. So it's against their policy. They don't speak against politician, okay? So this is how I generated the prompt. Now, this is me just writing how I want the interview to be. Okay, I just describe what I want in detail. This is not actually the prompt. Okay, this is just a description of what I want to generate, of how I want the prompt to be, how I understand the street interview to be. Okay, like I always tell you, you must not be a prompt engineer before you be able to generate a prompt to create any kind of video or any design that you want. You can just go ahead describe the thing describe what you want to describe anything that you know about what you want to generate now i want to generate a street interview i just write everything that i want any everything that i want on it like if you look very well say i want i want to generate a realistic ai street interview and i say 
and I say the, the journalist is a lady. Do you understand? I say it's a lady. That is my subject. I just say the journalist is a lady. Just describe what you want to just describe what you want to generate in detail. Okay, describe it in detail and then come here. Now let's copy this thing to go and generate the real prompt. Head over to ChatGPT and paste this. Okay. Okay, now I just pasted it to ChatGPT. I'm telling ChatGPT that I want to generate a realistic AI street interview. Okay, in a Nigeria street. The journalist is a lady. I let ChatGPT know that it is a lady that I want to be the journalist, okay? And I describe how I want the lady to look like, okay? I say the journalist is a lady wearing a polo. Do you understand? I describe how I want the lady to look like, okay? And I also say she walked to a young man, like the action that I want the lady to take, okay? So now you, this is just me pouring out everything that I know, okay? I pour everything that I know consigning street interview to ChatGPT. Now, I'm going to tell ChatGPT now to act as a prompt engineer and optimize this my prompt for me, okay? So, with that, ChatGPT is going to rewrite a new version of this my prompt for me. ChatGPT is going to optimize this my prompt for me. And then, I'll just have to copy the one that ChatGPT write, head over to Google VEO3 and generate my video. Now, watch me as I'm going to do it. Okay, now see what I write. I say, act as a prompt engineer and optimize this prompt to get a better result. I'm generating the video using Google VEO3. Do you understand? Now, after I write everything that I know about the prompt, about the street interview prompt to ChatGPT, and I tell ChatGPT to act as a prompt engineer and optimize this prompt for me to get a better result. And I also let ChatGPT know that I'm generating the video using Google VEO3 so that ChatGPT will know how to optimize the prompt to tally with google veo3 do you understand so now all i have to do now is to go ahead and hit generate okay now you see okay now you see but now this is the prompt that i use okay now chatgpt have rewrite a new version of my prompt for me okay do you understand this is my prompt this is the new prompt that chatgpt write for me all right you see how the prompts look like now this prompt is well structured than the one that i write the one that i write you look at it, it's just a small prompt here okay so as and look at it chat the app act as a prompt engineer and optimize my prompt for me so all i have to do now is to just go ahead and copy this one that chat gpt writes let me just copy it normally okay Okay, so now I've copied the one that ChatGPT writes and then come back to my, like open a new page and then paste it. The reason why I'm still pasting it on my notepad is to remove some part and then like this, this stuff shouldn't be there. The AI sometimes doesn't understand all this hyphen, okay? So that is why I'm removing those hyphen from inside, okay? Okay, so now, now this is a well structured prompt that ChatGPT write for me. Okay, so now all I have to do now is to go ahead and copy this particular one. Copy this one. You, from this point, you can add anything and remove anything that you don't want there. Okay, you can edit it. That is why I bring it here so that I can add anything or remove anything that I do not want there. Okay, so now I've seen that the prompt is very okay. So now all I have to do now is to copy this particular one and then. Head over to Google VEO3 and generate my video. So this is how I generated my prompt. That prompt that I used to generate that street interview. This is the prompt. This is the prompt. It was generated using ChatGPT. Okay. And this is and this is just the small thing that I write. Look at it. I this particular one is just me describing everything that I know about street interview to Google VEO3. I just describe it very short like this, okay? And ChatGPT optimize the prompt for me. So when you want to generate a video, when you want to, or even a design, you don't know how to go about the prompt, describe it the way you just understand it, just write it the way you understand it, and then test ChatGPT to act as a prompt engineer and optimize that prompt for you. With that, you are going to get a better result, okay? So this is basically how to generate a well-structured prompt for your street interview.
video not just strict interview but for any kind of ai video that you want to generate or even a design this is how to generate a prompt i hope you find this video helpful and i believe that you must have subscribed to this youtube channel you must have liked this video yeah, and if you are watching from facebook instagram or tiktok i believe that you must have liked the video and followed this account for more ai video okay this this video took me a whole lot of time to create it and a whole lot of research so that you can understand so please and please show your support tell me something nice like the video subscribe to this youtube channel and follow this account okay thank you so much so this is basically how to generate a realistic AI script interview using Google VEO3. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please don't just go. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are watching from YouTube. And don't forget to follow this account if you are watching from Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. I'm Big John as per usual friend. Hand to head. Salute. Bye.